Every day we see productivity and minimalism YouTubers telling us how we should live a life with less material possessions, to live a sustainable, focused and meaningful existence. I myself have recently been diving deep into this content so that I can make my environment distraction free and have more clarity. Minimizing what we own and changing our consumer behaviors allows us to be more free free from our addictions to technology and free from the meaning we attach to these material possessions. Over the years, I have become increasingly mindful of the possessions I own and have realized that if I have clutter around me, my mind also feels cluttered. Now, I am not a minimalist yet, but definitely resonate with the thinking behind owning less and experiencing more. However, today I'll be sharing with you six things I feel that you should spend money on that will make you happy, regardless of whether you're a minimalist or not. Hey friends, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, then my name is Naya and I create videos on personal development, habits and productivity so we can all live a happier and more fulfilled life. So in this video, I wanted to share some of the things that you can spend money on that will make you happy. So let's dive straight into the first one. So the first thing that you can spend money on that will make you happy is digital courses or personal growth. Over the past seven years, I've invested thousands in my self-education. These include courses on mindset, on digital marketing, on personal development, on books, on all sorts of things that will help me become a better version of myself. For me, time is the most valuable resource and it's something that we can't replace. So when it comes to productivity, then my biggest hack or my biggest advice that I can give you is that invest in things that will save you time. And that also applies to acquiring or learning any sort of skill. I will always gladly pay for a coach or mentor or take one of their courses if it allows me to do something in the most efficient way possible. For me, this is a no brainer. Why would I spend 10 years doing something when I can pay someone to teach me the same thing in one year and I can avoid all of the costly mistakes that they made I can learn from their wisdom and their experience so yeah I would gladly pay for uh, something that can save me that time as Tony Robbins says if you want to be successful in something find someone who has achieved the results you want and copy what they do and you'll achieve the same results investing in these ethical shortcuts uh, will allow you to reach your goals quicker, which is always something to be happy about. So it'll definitely make you happy. Moving on to the second thing that you can spend money on to make you happy, which is books. Again, this ties into the previously mentioned point whereby books allow you to learn from people who have done what you're trying to do. And so you can gain their wisdom, you can gain their knowledge in a condensed version and you can use those strategies in your life and save yourself a lot of time. Now, I am someone that loves reading. However, if you are someone who doesn't like reading and you don't really want to sit down and spend six, seven hours reading a book, then, then there are loads of services out there that you can utilize uh, to gain the wisdom from these books without having to read them. In fact, I'll include a card above, which is a recent video that I made, which will show you four apps that you can use to read more books without having to read a physical book. So go check that out if you don't like reading. Now books can make you happy because like courses, they can reduce the learning curve that you have to go through and the heartache and just all the ups and downs and the roller coasters that you have to go through towards achieving your goals. And so anything that allows you to reduce that learning curve uh, is bound to be good, right? Okay, so moving on to the third thing, which is buying experiences over material possessions. As humans, we quickly adapt to our surroundings. And so when we purchase items or possessions, we very quickly become immune to the happiness that we experienced when we originally bought them. However, numerous studies have found that spending money on experiences as opposed to material possessions actually prolongs this happiness. One of the biggest reasons for this is because experiences can be shared with other people. You can actually share your memories, you can share what you did, how you did it, who you did it with. This allows you to connect in a much more meaningful way and it allows you to look back on these stories and these memories and share them with your family and friends. This allows you to relive those happy moments again and again and again. And that is the reason why spending on experiences can make you more happier than spending on material possessions. The next thing that you can buy that will make you happy is time. 
Now hear me out. I know you're probably wondering who can buy time? No one can buy time. Now we all know time is a finite resource. And so spending money on something that can save you time is a great investment in my eyes. I mean, why waste time trying to drill your own shelf into the wall, take a whole day to do it, when you can hire an expert to do it in a couple of minutes for you. I remember when I was growing up, my mom would always say that trading money for time is always a good investment. So whenever you can spend money to save time, you should do it. She called it buying time. I used to find that phrase really funny because I was only a kid then and I didn't really know what she meant, but now I understand exactly what she meant. Time scarcity is a thing and it can lead to depression, anxiety, and a lot of unhappiness. Spending money on things that can save you time will allow you to reduce your time stress and that will in turn make you a much more happier and much more positive person. The next thing you can buy that will make you happy is your fitness and health. It's a well-known fact that exercise and fitness can lead to happiness. There are numerous studies that show the connection. It reduces depression, low self-esteem, improves mental health and boosts your mood as well. So spending money on things that can help you get more fit and healthy or even pursue a sport is definitely a great investment. So if you're thinking of buying that Peloton bike that you keep seeing an ad for then go ahead let those endorphins fill your body the next thing that you can spend money on that will make you happy is giving to other people now there's an old chinese proverb that states if you want happiness for an hour take a nap if you want happiness for a day go fishing if you want happiness for a year inherit a fortune and if you want happiness for a lifetime help somebody there are a multitude of studies that you can search for online that show you how uh, being more altruistic and giving to people uh, can lead to happiness. According to one study, giving or spending money on others activates regions in the brain that are associated with pleasure, social connection and trust, resulting in good mental and physical health. So when it comes to spending money on other people, don't be shy, it'll help you feel good in the long run. All right guys, that's all for this video. Be sure to comment down below to let me know your key takeaways and also check out these two videos here for more useful content just like this. Take care, bye-bye.